Meat, meat, and more meat. It's the American way. 96% of us eat it. So when the Department of Agriculture recently announced a Meatless Mondays program for its employees not to consume meat, there was immediate backlash from the meat industry. Meatless Monday. Headlines and tweets were everywhere, forcing the USDA to retract its support of Meatless Mondays. But it raises the question, could our country live without its meat? Let's go find out. This is What If. This is one of the most popular hot dog joints in town, but let's see if anybody inside is willing to give up their meat. Would you ever go vegetarian? No. 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 Why not? Because vegetarians are gross, meat is delicious. What if America went meatless? We would adapt. But could we really adapt if we all went meatless? An American meat eater consumes an average of 273 pounds of meat each year. That adds up to about $4,000 per family. Like barbecue unchicken. Yeah. Meatless author Victoria Moran explains what she eats. Vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, and nuts and seeds. While these options might not be appetizing for everyone, cock a doodle do, baby. These figures are pretty tasty. If every American skipped one meal of chicken per week and went vegetarian, CO2 savings would be the same as taking more than a half million cars off the road. And if we all went vegetarian for just one day, the U.S. could reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 1.2 million tons. That's as much produced by all of France. Healthcare costs could drop significantly. And while some veggie crop farmers could make so much money they wouldn't even bother counting it, Cattle ranchers like Kim Brackett in Idaho say it would be a national tragedy. Economically, it would be devastating for the rural communities across this country. At home, you know, it would devastate my family. The Cattlemen's Beef Association agrees and says, the U.S. economy would lose over $80 billion, putting over one million farms out of business. Fourth of July barbecues would not be the same without meat. And perhaps most importantly, Lady Gaga wouldn't have a meat dress to wear to next year's Video Music Awards. I never thought I'd be asking Cher to hold my meat purse. We asked dietitian Keith Ayub of Albert Einstein Medical Center to and as a weigh in. Do you recommend us going meatless? Just by going vegetarian does not guarantee that your diet's going to be any better. The question is really, would people be willing to do it? Well, it doesn't sound like it's going to happen anytime soon. The world sure would be a different place if we all stopped eating meat. Now, tell us what you think about going meatless. Join the conversation at abcnews.com slash what if or tweet us at abcnews what if. <laughs> <laughs>